Do you ever look up at the stars and feel so small that your petty human worries disappear? Well, allow me to absolutely ruin that for you. If you can keep up, this absurd mass will make you feel so small, so powerless and so totally meaningless, it will make nihilism seem like the only sensible option. We're moving through space at about 390 miles per second. When we first measured that speed, it quickly became clear that our entire galaxy was actually being dragged towards some vast, distant object. And that seems downright terrifying. But worry not, it turns out it's not just us. Every galaxy in our little corner of the universe, or 100,000 of them in a region spanning 500 million light years, is being dragged towards the same unknown thing. So what is it? The Great Attractor. Its gravitational pull is massive. It's believed to contain the mass of around 10 quadrillion suns. Yeah, that number doesn't even make sense. As of today, the biggest single entity ever discovered is the ultra-massive black hole TON618. This black hole is almost 250 billion miles across. It powers a quasar that burns with the light of 140 trillion suns. It might just be the biggest thing that has ever or will ever exist in our universe. But it is actually around 150,000 times less massive than the Great Attractor. Are you still following? Stay with me because this is all about to make complete sense. Before now, we thought our known Milky Way was the limit of our cosmic neighbourhood. Our humble galaxy is one of 40 galaxies in the local group. The local group is one of about 100 galaxy groups in the Virgo supercluster cluster, which contains about 45,000 galaxies. Then we learned that our Virgo supercluster was just a tiny branch of something much, much larger, the Lanakea supercluster. I know, we're already way beyond what our brains can comprehend, but for what it's worth, the Lanakea supercluster is 520 million light years across and home to around 100,000 galaxies. The Great Attractor sits right in the middle of this gargantuan supercluster. But it isn't so much a thing as it is a place, a place that every single thing in the known universe is slowly being dragged towards. So does anyone know what will actually happen to us when it finally reels us in? Well, it's located about 200 million light years away, so at 390 miles per second, it will take us around 95 billion years to get there. A relief for those of us currently serving our time on this Earth, but the ironic truth is that we will never actually arrive. You see, the universe is expanding, and the rate of expansion is ever increasing. The observable universe is 93 billion light years across, contains an estimated 200 trillion galaxies, and and thanks to the expansion of the universe, everything will eventually begin to disappear into the cold, dark reaches of space at a rate faster than the speed of light. So even the light from distant stars won't reach us. And with that, the grand cosmic web of the universe we know today will fade away to nothing, and we will never reach the great attractor. Don't you just feel so much better now?